They're one of Peru's most famous monuments, giant images scratched into the desert more than a thousand years ago. But when activists for the environmental group Greenpeace used the Nazca lines for a publicity stunt, an action that was meant to draw attention to climate change, backfired. On Friday, an angry crowd hurled insults at Greenpeace's executive director as he arrived at a Peruvian courthouse to testify about the incident. The people is totally angry. As you can feel here, you can see here, the people is saying justice. We want justice for the Nazca lines. Peru has accused Greenpeace of causing irreparable damage to the UNESCO World Heritage Site after activists went into the desert to place their sign. Around 20 activists are accused of leaving footprints and overturning stones in the ecologically sensitive area. The stunt coincided with a major climate change conference that took place in Peru's capital, Lima, earlier this month. I am saddened that this happened in the middle of the conference. As a country, we have felt so proud to be the host country of the COP, and this is an event that fills us with shame because it should never have happened. Back at the courthouse, Greenpeace's director apologized for the group's actions. There was no justification to have put our foot on that sacred place at all. I have indicated that uh, I'm willing to uh, provide whatever assistance the Peruvian authorities need and I'll be willing to come back. And they've responded positively to that, which I'm grateful. But Naidu's assurances, among them that Greenpeace's leadership had no knowledge of the plan, failed to quell people's anger. Experts say someone in the group must have had intimate knowledge of the site. This was pre-planned in someone's office. They said, let's go in there to get some attention. But why the hummingbird? Because it's known worldwide and it's the main icon of our cultural patrimony. They haven't gone to damage it, they've gone to attract attention. But they didn't take the proper precautions. Greenpeace now says it will assist with an independent investigation and work to protect the Nazca lines. But for many Peruvians, the damage both to the archaeological site and to Greenpeace's reputation has already been done. David Mercer, Al Jazeera.